So I'm going to show you how to set up the super yacht in there.com. Uh, the first thing you want to do is lay out all the pieces of the yacht in a zone. Uh, it doesn't matter where you lay it out. It could be anywhere. And then you go to this place, uh, layout options, save layout. And I'm going to overwrite this. You can put it anywhere. Uh, just save it. And it's pretty much anything. Remember the name. And when you click OK, down over here, it's going to show you the path to the layout, uh, a file path. And you're going to need to remember it if you don't already know it. Uh, so if you click OK, you can see here the, the path of C users, documents, McKenna there. Uh, it goes away pretty quick, so if you need to re uh, see it again, just save the layout again. Uh, once you do that, go to uh, killicon.com and download this advanced layout editor, because we're going to use it to help us align it uh, very quickly. I'm the original developer of this uh, advanced layout editor. Uh, the Chaz is the one that created the original layout editor, uh, but I added a visual aspect to it. And this is the original, this is my original website that I uh, hosted it on. And you can click this download link here and get it. Uh, it's also on thumbdar.com, buried somewhere in their downloads, if you want to find it that way. Um, there used to be a, a forum on Thumbdar, and I had a whole thread for this tool, but it's not there anymore. Uh, so. I still haven't updated this, but and this is the original um, download link, so I'll paste this in the description. Anyways, once you have the, the layout editor, just uh, unzip the file and click on the exe that's in there, and you should see this layout editor here. Uh, once you have it open, go to the file path of the layout, and since I had it open recently, it remembered, and it goes to documents, kind of there, user data, game kit, layouts, and I saved it as super yacht. Uh, so just open up the one you saved by clicking on it, clicking open, and then you should see everything in your zone. Right now, I only have the uh, yacht, so you can only see these three. Uh, uh, what you want to do next is click on the front and drag and drop it on the middle, and click on the back and drag and drop it in the middle. So what this does is it makes the middle the parent and the front and back the child. And so later down the line, if we want to move the yacht, uh, down here in the visual part, uh, I'm just going to set my zone to 200 by 200. And uh, so, yeah, if you click on the middle and you hold shift, so this red one here is the middle because it's selected. If you hold shift on your keyboard and then click and drag on it, you can see it moves all three pieces of the yacht because the middle is the parent. Um, and if you select the if you select the child, each individual child, you can move that independently or relatively. Um, so it's a pretty neat tool to edit layouts. Anyway, so what we want to do for the sake of this um, tutorial is click on the middle and put the absolute position to zero on everything for the middle piece, and then go to the front and set these two all zero as well and then go to the back and set these the relative position to all zero as well and so what that did is put all the pieces right on top of each other so the front and back is right on top of the middle uh, once you do that go back to the front and we want this to be positive 20 meters in front of the middle and once you change it click enter and then go to the back and this one want, we want to be negative 20 meters on the y-axis from the middle and click enter and then what you do is you click file and then save and then you go back to your uh, there go to load layout and click on the layout and then click original and this should put the yeah exactly where it should be uh, because of a flaw in there uh, the pieces that uh, when the pieces are dropped, they're not exactly precise down to the thousands of a meter. They, they're kind of off a little bit. Um, so sometimes you got to play around with this. Uh, I made this yacht to where if every piece is exactly, the front piece is exactly 20 in front and the back is 20 behind, it should be perfectly aligned because this was all designed as one piece and then cut. Um, so you have to play around with it to get rid of these gaps. So in this case, there's a gap between the back and the middle. 
Uh, so that means I need to click on the back and set this to like 1999. Uh, and then click enter, and then click save, and then reload. And that gets rid of the gap there. Um, what else? Uh, the other thing you can do, like I said, uh, if you click on the middle, or at least the parent, uh, and you hold shift, you can move it around in your zone. So I'm just going to move it over this way and click save and go to layout load original. So there, now it's right on top of me. Crap. <laughs> right on top of me. Um, my camera wasn't ready for that. What you can also do is. Uh, so again, if you hold shift and click and drag, you can move it. If you hold control and you click and drag, it'll rotate it. Or you could set the value here to rotate it if you want it to like I don't know, 45. Um, it'll put it at a 45 degree angle and then just click save. And go to display, load, original. So there, now it's over here at an angle. But every time you move it, there's a possibility of there being gaps introduced because of the way there works. Um, this time we got lucky. Alright, well, uh, that's about it.